Heavens Dave here, and today we're checking out the VR Rock prescription lenses. Guess we'll be sticking with this setup now. <laughs> I was looking for a lot of possibilities since I don't have my glasses anymore, and this kind of won the competition, so we'll go with it. Today is kind of like a historical day for me on the channel since what we'll be doing is a first ever brand deal that I got with all the codes and stuff. It feels weird, just like I got my first code to the game in the past. In most YouTube careers, brand deals play a key part in their channel growth, and I guess I'm slowly joining that circle as well. In my classic fashion though, if something is bad, I'm gonna tell you that. And now to think of it, this video will actually be a good representation of that, so let's see. So today on the palette we have VR Rock prescription lenses. For almost 3 years up until recently, I was using Vidmo VR ones and I bought them back in the day when I was still using Quest 1 and then surprisingly I could fit them on my Quest 2 as well. So essentially I doubled the life of it. <laughs> lenses for someone that has an average prescription, I would say, play a very big part in the VR experience. I mean, if you don't see anything then what's the point? There is a possibility to play with glasses overall and that is very rocky if you're talking about the shape, the depth, the material. Most of the time it would end up scratching the original ones so I feel like investing in this particular accessory is pretty mandatory to say the least. Those were the lenses that I was using constantly and those are the VR rock solutions. I'll give you a quick moment to compare the photos and see what's missing from those. It doesn't have a wink on one side. <laughs> Essentially what I did is I filed this down because when I was wearing them like in the headset, it was like crushing the top part of my nose. Unfortunately, after fixing it, it was still the case. Bear in mind, I'm using the first setup of like the IPD adjustment and my eyes are like extremely close to the actual lens. And on top of that, my nose is not even straight. Like if you see, it's not even a straight line. I feel like this brand deal was just cursed for me in every way possible. Like the lens actually work is just not so for me at all. If I compare the two for example, the thing with Vidmo is that it has like a curved slope so your nose is not like getting crashed into the headset, doesn't matter what IP adjustment you have or the size of the nose. On the positive side in the first couple of minutes that I could even review it, VR Rock is a bit closer to the original lens so that essentially results in a higher field of view and you don't have like a black border on your perimeter of vision. The only way I could make it work is putting the IPD adjustment to the two setting but then the image is kind of blurry for me so all in all I just can't use it. Those are pretty much my thoughts on it, it kind of just sucks that I won't be able to get out anything from it. Then again I'm not using lenses anymore so there is a somewhat happy ending to it. I would say if you have a straight smaller nose than me and the IPD range in somewhere around 2 setting then those lenses would be perfect. As part of any brand deal ever I have a discount code for I believe any product they sell on the site and it's just called Dave like 5% of the overall purchase. Pretty small one, but hey, we have to start with something. With the brand deals moving forward, in every video's description, like I do it anyways, I'm gonna have a separate section with all the links and codes, and that's pretty much it. Somewhat a new chapter for the channel. A bit rocky, I would say, but I can't have everything at the same time. See you around!